Okay, the next one today, if I go to it, is a uh, ME 17.5.2 out of a VW app that's got an active immobiliser. We want to take the immobiliser off, so basically I've got my pin outs in there. Okay, if we go over to the computer, I can see I've got my VW up with my uh, ECU 17.5.2. Okay, now I've already, if I go into data process and the removal of the immobiliser system, okay, um, I've already downloaded, I've already copied the D flash and the P flash. Okay, so if I go D flash first, which are these here, this is the original D flash. Okay, and I go open. Okay, successful. Then load the P flash file. Okay, which is that one. Okay, open. Okay, that'll load that file. If I go to pass the data now, we can see that the um, anti-theft is matched, which means it's active. It's got a pin, okay, like that. Now what I want to do, I need to change both the P-flash and the D-flash on this one. Okay, so what I want to do on this is I want to change this to closed. I want to change the pin to five ones. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And I want to change the Mac to eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. Okay, I want to save that file. Okay, and I want to save it to uh, desktop. Okay. And I want to save it to my, let's find it, my emo off folder, okay, so there we've got save, okay, now that's save that file, and I've already got the emo off, so let's see if we can remove this, so we've got our past, past data, which we've done, okay, we save the file, so I want to go back, okay, and I want to remove the anti-theft, okay. Now to do that, I load the P flash file, okay, which is not this one, because this is the immobiliser off one. So I want to go back to desktop, okay, and I want to go to the original files. So find my original files. Too far. Let's go all the way up. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Where are you? you BDC 16s. We don't want those. So it's back down here again. And it should. We're looking for VW. And it's the originals, so that's the EMOD there, original, okay. Right, so we want to load the P flash, so that's that one. Open. Okay, and now it says we want to turn off the MED C1 anti theft system. So we'll turn that off, correct. Let's see, now it'll connect to the server. Okay, 14.7 EMO off. Okay, and I want to put that to the desktop. And let's see if that's exactly the same number as one that's already been done, not that one. Okay, and let's go EMOF for that one. So is that the same number? Let's have a look. Okay. PW emo off. Uh, no, nope, it's different. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to go save. Let's save that. And as we can see, it says the anti theft system shut down successfully. Okay, so that's good. So let's turn that. So that's our file. 
that turns it off. So we want to go back, okay, back again. And now we want to get into the platform, okay. And we want to write the D flash. So the D flash, okay, yes. And that's going to be this one, okay. So I'll open that. Okay, connecting. Okay, and it'll raise the partitions and it'll tell the uh, ECU in on the D flash side that the immobilizer is removed, which is successful. Now I want to write the P flash. Now this is the tricky one. Okay, and we use the immobilizer off this one. And what it'll do, it'll do this online. So you must be connected online to do this. So we go open and it'll ask you, do you want to check it? Do you want to verify it? And you always click yes. Okay, and it'll check these files. And it'll say correction of the checksum. And you want to go okay. And this will take a little while. This will connect to the servers. They will check that file and make sure it is correct before it's written back to the ECU. Okay, so this will, this will take a little while. Here we go. So it's authorized successfully. It's checking each partition. It might throw up another one saying that it's checked it and it needs repairing. Uh, you just click yes. Just let it do it automatically. Uh, so it's getting the authorization code. There we go. Once it's finished checking the files, it will then, here we go, write to the EEPROM. So we've loaded, the, we've told the D-Flash memory that uh, there is no immobilizer and we are now also programming the EEPROM because if you don't do that, what will happen is you'll turn the ignition on and it will still throw up a code saying immobilizer, start block by immobilizer and the car won't start. And this is what happened on a, an EDC 17 that I did on an earlier video where somebody had tried removing the immobilizer from the D flash and hadn't done it from the EEPROM. Um, they were lucky they didn't actually brick the ECU. Uh, but we managed to sort that out and there'll be a video on that soon of it being plugged in and working on the car Okay So what it's doing now is just currently writing to the EEPROM Once that's done If I go down a little bit All the way to the bottom once that's done we should see there we go, write data successful. So that is so this ECU is now completely plug and play. Okay. And can be just plugged into the plugged into the car and away you go. Okay. I'll do a video of that soon. Uh, plugged into this VW up that has had nothing but issues of start block by immobilizer. There's no other codes on it. The customer's got three keys, he's changed the ring. Uh, he's checked all the wiring back to the instrument cluster and it's still either a cluster or an ECU fault. So we've just removed the immobiliser. So a video coming up soon of that working and uh, we can take it from there. Okay, thanks for watching.